Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a really awesome little metallics workshop coming up here and our focus is really just going to be painting on black watercolor paper. And there are, you know, I mean there's a ton of different brands of metallic paints and it's difficult to kind of decide which one is a good metallic, why is it a good metallic, that sort of thing. So first things first, I'm going to be painting on Stonehenge aqua cold press black watercolor paper super super thick really high quality paper and that's what all of my samples were done on the first thing i'm gonna do is talk about some of the different metallics that i have found so you can find at michael's daiso the dollar tree um, really cheap metallic sets and they're fantastic just for you know like say coloring book type of stuff or even just playing around with watercolors sometimes they come with the little brushes in the sets the bummer part is they may look pretty cool on white paper but you don't have the color or pigment on the black as you can see there's a slight tint to some of these metallics but for the most part they all kind of have a silvery tone to them so that's kind of the challenge, and that's one of the reasons that I decided to do this little video. So you could see four of the different metallics that I have. The other is the Derwent metallic. The cool thing about Derwent is it has the little water brush and it has the sponge. So like you don't have to worry about pulling out any of your other supplies. It's just all here and ready to go. Um, you have a lovely color saturation with all of them. And I'm gonna see if I can get kind of some good lighting. Some of the metallics have a really cool sparkly sheen. And then the one thing that I noticed that was interesting is once you get halfway through the palette, so like the gold colors all have that real great metallic sheen. These ones all flatten out just a bit. They look just as pretty, but they flatten out and don't have quite as much sparkle in them. So that was kind of interesting um, for the Derwent set. But again, a really, really nice metallic set comes with a lot of really cool stuff. You close it all in to this little carrying case and that's just really darn handy. And I'm all about cute and handy, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a factor. <laughs> the next is Prima Metallics. Now this one, I believe they have a couple of different metallic sets. This is the Metallic Accents set. And um, the other one I haven't actually had a chance to see and play with yet, but I've had this one for years and it's, it's actually a fantastic, um, metallic quality and pigment. Um, I've been really happy with it. There's only one more that like I, I think is the absolute best out of all of them. But this one price wise, I want to say is like $14.99. So it's a really good value. And like I said, I have used this sucker for years and I still have plenty of paint in all of these sets. Um, so as you can see, the white has absolutely gorgeous pigment and color and shimmer. And then the saturation is just as pretty on the black. So you can see this is a really good value for metallics if you're just gonna be starting off, want something kind of cheap, but you want something to look really pretty. So that's the metallic one with Prima. And then these are Daniel Smith. So if you are familiar with Daniel Smith, they come in tubes. Um, I'm pretty sure they actually have a travel set now that's just metallics, which I don't own. I, I've kind of collected these fun colors over the last six to seven years. Um, this is by far the most beautiful pigment metallic paint I have ever seen. It's just as gorgeous and like totally different on white. So like the iridescent scarab, sort of like a scarab beetle. You've got that shimmery iridescent kind of bluey color and then some red in there, kind of coppery, gorgeous. The iridescent scarab is this one on the black, super, super different. The duochrome, duochromes are really different. Um, the saturation of color on say like the iritec, um, iridescent Aztec gold is just wicked cool. So just really, really neat paints. But again, you're having to invest a lot more in paints. You get what you pay for. So if like you really love painting on black and it's it's your thing, then yeah, go ahead and invest in Daniel Smith and you know just really kind of explore that. The iridescence, the duochromes, and the shimmer are all really cool. So any of the paints that are kind of fit into the those three categories, 
Pearl Shimmer has to be one of my favorites. It is actually in my, like my regular watercolor palette because it's a clear pearly shimmer and it looks fantastic on say leaves on some florals that you want to have a wet effect. They look really, really dewy and pretty on something like that. Um, and then whenever I want something gold, I almost always go to iridesc iridescent Aztec gold. It's just super, super rich and beautiful. Um, Duochrome Oceanus is really gorgeous. It looks an awful lot like fuchsite, but more green. And then when you put it down on black, it's just got a gorgeous gold yellow color tone to it. So those are the metallics that I personally own. Again, Daniel Smith is my absolute favorite, but it's not always cost effective for people. So then my second favorite would be Prima Metallic Accents. My third favorite would be the Derwent Metallic Watercolor Set. And then of course, this guy, you know, just kind of doesn't register um, for black watercolor paper. It just wouldn't work. So if I had to invest in anything, I would definitely do the Derwent or the Prima Metallics. Both of these guys are really, really um, inexpensive and good quality. So, you know, you just got to figure out what's best for you. I hope this video helped you a little bit and it was kind of fun to watch. It was a bit of a metallics review. Um, I do have a class coming up on February 6th where we get to play with the metallics and we're going to have some fun exercises on that as well. So keep a lookout on my website for that. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>